Oh, hi, do you guys cut men's hair? Uh, do, you have, uh, do you take an appointment for tomorrow at uh, like 10 o'clock? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, name is Max. Yep. Great, thank you so much. Yep, see you tomorrow. All right. April Fool's Day was yesterday, and now it is over, and everyone can return to their normal business of being uh, angry at stuff besides April Fool's Day. I'm always kind of baffled that people get so upset about April Fool's Day, like it's this bad thing that they don't like. Motherfuckers, it is like internet Christmas and Halloween had a big weird lying baby. People get upset because things happen on the internet that aren't real, and they feel fooled, and then they get angry and they're like, you can't believe everything on the internet. You shouldn't believe everything on the internet. That's how World War I started. Jokes. Uh, but really, you know, uh, April Fool's Day happened and there was some fun stuff. The video game industry always goes all out for this one, so I figured that instead of reporting on real actual news that happened, like that Amazon set-top box that I don't really care about that much, I would report on April Fool's gags because they're interesting and fun to talk about. Here we go. With their billions and billions of dollars, Google decided to fill Google Maps with the Pokemon. And I don't actually know what Nintendo's involvement with this was. I'm guessing that somebody at Nintendo who was awake was like, sure, and they signed a small piece of paper and Google went on to please millions of people all around the world with this lovely use of futuristic technology and pocket monsters uh, while Nintendo was working on their upcoming handheld, the 1DS. I don't know. Uh, Nintendo, did they actually do a practical joke? I don't know if they did. Uh, they were actually the kind of the butt of a few practical jokes. Uh, let's see, Frostbite, the EA engine, the really powerful Super Next Gen one, their official Twitter account made a few cracks about how they were going to be running on the Wii U, which they're not because it's not a powerful enough console to run their software. And uh, since then, Peter Moore, the head of EA, has actually apologized on behalf of the Frostbite engine for all of its rude remarks, presumably because for all of its graphics rendering, the Frostbite engine still cannot talk or apologize or something. An unofficial Super Smash Bros. site posted these screenshots of the newly announced character Nestor, the guy from Nintendo Power Magazine, who would be a pretty cool character to have in Super Smash Bros. if he was rendered a little bit more convincingly, like I said. Kind of a funky model they got there. Also, unofficial site, so what do you want? Blizzard announced a fighting game called Blizzard Outcasts Vengeance of the Vanquished, which would take some of their more esoteric characters and make them punch each other. I think it'd be a fun idea. I mean, they just released a card game. Like, what do you want? Why is a fighting game such a silly, goofy joke? I guess that's what frustrates me about, about April Fool's Day the most, is that these things that could be real are in fact not. And it's not that I'm mad that I feel tricked. I'm mad that people are like, here's a funny joke. And I'm like, why is that just a joke? Why can't that be a real, actual thing that you do for me to have? For instance, the folks at Neverwinter, they decided to make a little video announcing that they were going to have dragons playable in their, in their role-playing game. But they're not, that's the joke, is that they're not gonna let you play as the dragons. So I don't know why that's a funny joke for you. Uh, the World of Warplanes people did one that I think is a little bit funnier. They did World of War Trains. Talk about linear gameplay. On rail shooter, am I right? Anyway, that, that's a silly joke. They also did something where it's like, hey, you can, you, there's gonna be UFOs in World of Warplanes, which was the joke. Why can't that be a thing? There's UFOs in other games. Video games are founded on shooting UFOs. Why don't you do that as, this, as, a, as a for real thing? I don't know. The fine folks over at IGN cut together this wonderful trailer for not real Titanfall DLC, which would feature Optimus Prime as one of the Titans, so you could get inside of him, and it would be like you're driving a big truck, but instead of a truck, it is a man who is shaped like a truck and is also made out of a truck. I mean, it would be Optimus Prime, I guess, if you're unfamiliar with, with the character. In any case, that's not Respawn claiming that's going to be a real thing, so no one got too upset or confused about it. It just looks like they had a fun time making it. But hey, maybe Respawn will take the hint and we'll get to have, you know, Transformers DLC for Titanfall. That would be pretty cool. Uh, I mean, they got Predator in, in Call of Duty, so it's not the most far-fetched concept possible. The guys over at CD Projekt Red released this leaked footage from a mocap session gone horribly wrong for The Witcher 3, in which a man covered in ping pong balls pranced about with a sword, pretending he was Geralt of Rivia. And uh, then he, he did some magic. That was sort of the goof. They did a little Freddy Wong thing there. And they're like, whoa, you shot a fireball. You shot the actual Igni sign. Everything, it's gonna, we gotta put the fire out. 
Uh, I actually like this because it gives you a sense of what it looks like to be mocapping Geralt of Rivia. That guy can jump around with a sword pretty damn good. That's kind of cool. It's actually a real behind the scenes thing, but then with some silly goofiness thrown in just for the hell of it. So. What do you know? Mighty Number no. 9, the not Mega Man game that's coming out, uh, decided to announce that they are going to have an apple in their game. I don't know how this is a joke. I guess just they think it's funny to have a, an apple in a game that's, you know, like Mega Man. Like, oh, what if you played as a little man who's also an apple? Um, well, coming from a series that has robots made of wood and entire uh, rogues galleries of weird animal robots, it doesn't seem that silly, does it, Chill Penguin? Arma 3 made this fun video showing off its go-karts, which again, I think would be kind of cool if there actually were go-karts in there. It's a fun thing to drive go-karts, it's a fun thing to kill people, why has nobody combined those things properly without, you know, turtle shells being involved? Gee whiz, I don't know. Probably the biggest joke, the biggest laugh I had at April Fools this year was that a bunch of companies thought it was real silly to make these announcements like they were gonna be putting animals in their games. Uh, for instance, Calypso was like, hey, we're doing Llama Simulator 2014, jokes, jokes, jokes. And then uh, Dead Island Epidemic was like, we're having goat mode, jokes, jokes, jokes. And then those guys who did Surgeon Simulator was like, guess what, we're also doing Veterinarian Simulator. And here's what's really funny, is that actually yesterday, the actual game Goat Simulator came out on Steam. And today, it is number one selling on Steam. It is the number one selling game on all of Steam. Is that funny for you, you motherfuckers who can't think of anything funnier than what if you were playing as an animal? Alright guys, back to making guns shoot stuff and cars blow up. Come on, let's go. We need more realistic dragons. Fuck that! Put goats in your games! Apparently it works! Apparently people want to play it. It's a cool, fun thing. Remember Blood Dragon last year that was announced as a silly, goofy joke and then turned out to be a real thing and was probably my favorite game last year? Oh hey, uh, speaking of Blood Dragon, Dean Evans, uh, Spleenzilla on Twitter, who was uh, the guy behind Blood Dragon for the most part, decided to post this screenshot of the soon-to-be-released Blood Dragon soundtrack that's being released on vinyl. And he posted this photo of, of his buddy holding up, showing off how the vinyl record itself is neon pink and kind of looks like a, like a cassette a wheel of tape, which I think is, is kind of a clever thing. I just got into vinyl collecting, so I'm excited about this. But the real thing to be excited about is in the background there is a monitor, and on that monitor there is a wallpaper that shows off, in a very clearly Blood Dragon aesthetic, a bunch of big robot suits running around, and then a brand new logo that says Blood Dragon 3 Vietnam War 2. Is that a real game? Is that, did they just announce a Blood Dragon sequel as like a meta, meta joke of a joke that turned out to be a real thing last April Fools? I think they might have, but Dean Evans might also be fucking with us because he's secretly Satan. I don't know, I'm just, uh, I think that's probably my favorite part of, uh, of, of April Fool's Day, is that I don't know whether or not a new Blood Dragon game just got announced. Uh, you know, aside from the fact that uh, Goat Simulator just came out and made everybody else look real stupid, because it's kind of cool when video games are stupid and silly and have a lot of fun with themselves. In any case, uh, there's a roundup of some of the April Fool's stuff. If you want to read a full, compiled, long list, uh, including the one about how uh, Razer, those guys who make expensive neon green PC peripherals, made this overproduced video, about a personal drone helicopter that had PewDiePie at the end. You can go check out that list at destructoid.com. If you have any, um, I don't know, jokes to play on me, I'm Max Scoville on Twitter. You can always leave your jokes in the comments. Do my jokes suck? Tell me about that. I love to hear that. That's a good time. Um, I wish I could get Goat Simulator, but I have a goddamn Macintosh computer. And I wish I could play Elder Scrolls Online, but the servers are down, so I don't know how my new character, MILFMASTER420, is supposed to steal cheese wheels now. That's actually my character's name. So if you guys get in on Elder Scrolls Online, you should add me. We can go on cheese wheel raids together. I'll talk to you guys later. This has been a weird video. Take it easy.